Hello fellow hunters, this is Jared Lantern, and I'm here with the full daytime walkthrough of my 2017 haunt. Um, it's entitled Dowdy Street Nightmare. It is hotel themed. Now you're looking out here to the my front yard. Um, we've actually already been open for two days. We were open Friday and Saturday, uh, the 27th and the 28th. And we were closed yesterday and another day off today. And then we will, of course, be reopening tomorrow night, uh, Halloween night. So before we do, uh, I just wanted to show you a daytime tour. Uh, this is where the guests will be waiting to get in. It's all caution taped off. As you can see, we have some spots that, that need to be um, re-tied um, with the caution tape. And so up here we have kind of like the lobby waiting area. I think you guys have seen this before. Um, up here to your left, you have the undead granny. Uh, she'll welcome them in and then to their right this is actually what, where they'll stand um, behind this caution tape and then they'll overlook the uh, projection ghost from chickenprops.com really cool effects up here on this window they'll have uh, the atmosphere effects um, uh, ghostly apparitions video here is our donation box, and then also here we have a like a guest book they can sign. And so let's go ahead and enter the haunt. So this I have called this the main hall. It's basically the ghost room. And uh, first couple scares they'll get is a drop panel to their left and a drop panel to their right. Um, I have it staggered both in position and also timing. Um, this one goes down first and that one goes down. And as you can see, it's a pretty narrow hall here. Um, it's maybe about four feet wide. So they really are forced to go through single file at this point. And um, so it's a pretty loud effect of the, you know, we have hardwood floors. I know it's dark in here right now, but we have hardwood floors. So the drop panel uh, falling is pretty uh, loud sound we have the standing ghost lady in front looking out that window ghostly gentleman to their left and then we have the animated haunted mirror from Grandin Road people love this a lot it looks really good in this room especially at night uh, we have all these candles and pictures set up and let me see if I can get some light here And um, this is this is just that cheap moving picture from CVS. It looks pretty cool in here. I wish there was no sound, honestly, but uh, we have the phantom portrait over there with the tongue sticking out. We have the latex ghost girl from uh, Distortions Unlimited. She freaks people out all the time, uh, much like last year. And... Her arm fell off, I just had to glue that back on. Now they look back, they can see the standing ghost girl looking at them. Have some stuff over here on the wall. Everybody thinks this guy is uh, real. Looking over the wall, but he's not. And so they keep going. And now this next section is the lounge. And this is essentially the vampire room. So they'll have to move this beheaded vampire out of the way. To their left, they'll have the uh, Rising Vampire. Now his animation is just far too long for this uh, small room. So I went ahead and I just let him rise up to that position and then I just turned him off. Um, and so they, they see him, but it just takes too long for him to rise, talk, go back down. Um, still a really cool prop, really cool effect, but just animation and dialogue just far too long for this room. Uh, we have the Dracula Grave Gravewalker down there. This room is all red with these candelabras lighting it up as well. A few bat props all over the place. We have an actor scare right in this corner. And we have Bloodthirsty right here. And then they turn around they have Count Drac prop. At this point, the hostess, the bellhop, uh, hostess is telling them 
that they can catch the elevator in this room. I'm really sorry about the lighting, you guys. It's really difficult to get lighting in here right now, but... So this is essentially the doll room. And so you have a bunch of creepy little dolls, creepy little decorations and stuff all over the walls here. And these, a lot of these are um, made into creepy dolls. This is one of my favorite right here. And they come all this way to discover that the elevator is out. So they have to turn back and then they will see a actor here that they otherwise may have not seen. And this actress is, uh, has an, well we have two. One might be moved uh, Halloween night, but um, we have this pulley system and uh, we have to re-rig it up, but we had some really good scares. So what happens is this, is, this pulley system, this platform is actually way up there at the ceiling. And then at the last minute before they walk out, they drop this and they have all these chains and bells hanging from it and it makes a loud noise. I actually borrowed that idea from another haunter he doesn't seem to make videos anymore, but check out his walkthroughs from a few years ago. His name is Flight Dave 82 uh, Anyway, they will then go into the asylum. We have the maniac sitting right here. We constantly have people uh, asking, is he real? Is he real? And Because he does look really realistic at night. Now, this is where I was set up for the last two nights of the haunt. Uh, this is my breakaway cage that I was talking about. Um, I'm set back a few feet as an asylum patient when people walk past I come up with the uh, cage and I hit the door frame and uh, The scare is really good But the cage keeps falling apart. So I think I'm gonna just be putting the uh, Electric electrified maniac behind there and I'll be moving outside, but we'll get to that in a second uh, Otherwise, it has been a really good scare There's some props on the wall here that they walk past. This is all covered up. It's obviously, it's the kitchen, but this is all covered up, so they don't see any of this. And then we turn around here. We have the wheelchair psycho and uh, look, um, what's his name? Evil scientist. That's his name. And I think I'm going to replace both of these guys with um, the convulsing nurse for Halloween night. Because I haven't used her yet, and she's like one of my favorite props of all time, and yeah, I'd be really sad not to use her. So I'm probably going to replace these two with Convulsing Nurse tomorrow night. Uh, now we're going to head into room 8, and I think you can probably see what 8 stands for, and this is indeed the spider room. And this has been a really good scare as well. Let me close this door so I don't get copyright infringement. All right. Uh, this is all blacklit with strobe lights. We have an actor actually set up right here um, And he really has been freaking people out now we have the um, Insane serial killer here. Uh, I know this is probably more of an asylum prop, but uh, We just ran out of room in the asylum, so I just stuck a spider on his face and called him a spider victim But it has worked out well all these spiders here are moving and shaking at night and you have all these uh, all this fishing line hanging down freaking people out uh, really good scare attack spider I am very happy that I picked up that prop this year because it has been giving a lot of different scares they will now be going up to the courtyard Let's open up the store allow my dog to go in by Abby and They'll be coming out to the courtyard. The first thing they'll see is uh, we have an actor down there. She's a werewolf. And she kind of grabs, she lunges out at them, grabs at their feet. Um, pumpkin Nester is going off. He usually is turned around appropriately. Um, we have werewolf, uh, wolf spitter. He's not spitting, but um, he does do his, his other animation. We have a little graveyard platform here. Creepy caretaker goes up and down. And they walk past the looming phantom. They watch their step. They come down here with sitting scarecrow. 
Uh, this is all, all this burlap here, and we have strobe lights to kind of freak them out. And then they'll be looking through all this kind of dead brush here um, at the graveyard. And then we have some scarecrows. So then here we have one, two, three fake scarecrows. And if you see this fourth stake over here, uh, we actually have a an actor who's a real scarecrow and he lunges out right here at them. It's a great scare, especially at night with the light that we have on it. Um, it's actually the same mask as that one. So it really does blend in well as which one is real and which one is fake. Um, I'm in that room right there. If you can see that window, right there in the center and I look out here and I've seen some great scares from that from that perspective so if I do move for Halloween night I'll definitely miss that uh, that viewpoint anyway um, they'll continue this way on suspecting there'll be a witch here waiting for them and she has a great witch laugh um, an actress that is and she kind of follows them this way and then we have the hay bale popper and that will essentially lead them to the haunted pumpkin patch. These all, all these pumpkins are lit up at night. It has a, it really looks cool at night with all the faces lit up, and then it also has a spotlight of orange on them. They make this turn. At this point, the witch is still following them, and then they get the werewolf dad scare, and he has been scaring a lot of people. I'm really happy to have gotten this prop. He's amazing. And he is spotlit in red. There's the red spotlight. Now this is likely where I'm going to be. Uh, oh, this guy's still on. But I'm probably going to be in this corner on Halloween night. Um, I'm gonna. I have an evil jack o' lantern costume, and I think I'm going to make a sign right here that says uh, "Man o' Lantern Carving," and I'm going to have some severed heads, looking like that I'm cutting out their eyes and face, like I'm making jack o' lanterns out of human heads. Um, so this guy might go in the pumpkin patch right there, which I think he'll look good there. And I think I'm going to come out here and then after they get that last scare, they'll walk past here. The Witch of Stolen Souls is set off with a, uh, step pad. Then they will go into the chop shop. And this is probably one of my favorite rooms this year. It has some amazing scares. And so just, uh. I'll just step back a second so you can see the whole room. So you can see it's all, you know, uh, bloody limbs. It's all um, spotlit. With, well, actually, it's uh, it's a floodlight, all in red. And we have an actor behind there, and he has a bloody apron on, and he's uh, cutting up some body parts. And as the people enter, he asks for, um, or he says something along the lines of, we need more meat, or we have more customers. And there's a really tall actor who comes out of this door and he kicks the door open and it makes a nice loud slam. Um, how loud? <laughs> well, there's the door now. It needs to be fixed. Um, but yeah, it's, it's worth it because it's a very loud scare. And he has been actually chasing them out of this room with an axe. We're thinking of changing it up. Um, for Halloween night to uh, chainsaw, still deciding on that one. So he will chase them out of here to this fenced off area. And um, we had a little party here on Saturday night after the haunt. Um, so that's why these chairs will not be here uh, on Halloween night. And then, so we have the uh, zombie farmer who is kind of uh, hanging down and also attached to the fence. And then we have the uh, Scorch Scarecrow. This guy looks cheap little CVS prop, but he looks really cool at night and people have to push him out of the way to get past him. And um, all this fencing keeps them on the path to, to go out. Um, all this fencing actually, I was it was donated to me for, for free, um, hence the word donate. And uh, it was used in somebody's haunt. They've been doing a haunt for 25 years and they just gave us all this fencing. So we use it all back here and in the front yard as well. So they're now, they're running. We prefer them to walk, but they're so f freaked out from the um, ax murderer chop shop guy that they are running. Um, they uh, step pad activated, 
deadwood animated tree. We have another actor behind the tree here. Um, he's crawling on the ground. Well, he's doing several different uh, things. Um, but one of my favorites is he does crawl on the ground. And then they walk this way. And right here in this corner, the werewolf that was on, on under the porch on the opposite side, she comes over and she gives them another scare here. And then there is the exit. So that is it, you guys. That is the daytime tour. Very proud of my haunt this year. Um, everything so far has gone according to plan. Not 100% perfect, but I think we can all understand that, uh, you know, not your haunt's not always going to be 100% the way you want it. But um, anyway, I'm very happy. So thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, please look out for the nighttime tour coming up soon. And um, I hope you watch the uh, video I uploaded yesterday called the preview of the screams. It's a really great video of a group that we filmed coming through on Saturday night. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like what you're seeing, please like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, keep it creepy.